for Coast Case, People versus Monet Mudela Bay. Ray Tidern on behalf of the people. Freddie Judge, Torsho Feaster, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of Mr. Mudala Bay. Uh, please unmute and state your name for the record, ma'am. Hi, it's Monet Madula Bay. Madula Bay. Thank you, Judge. I have spoken to her as well as to the prosecutor's office. Uh, my understanding is there is an offer in this file for her to plead guilty to count one under the HIDA program with an agreement to alcohol testing, and count two will be dismissed, Your Honor. She'd that like to do right. that today. I'm sorry, she wished you to do that? Yes. yes. All right, I do need you to turn on your camera if you would. Yeah, I just woke up, guys. But <laughs> So it would be a plea to count one? Yes, Judge. Yes. Okay, and you said that's with alcohol screening? Yes, Judge. With alcohol testing or screening? I guess testing I'm... is what I received. Testing, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. So that has to be part of any sentence. All right. All right, got it. All right, ma'am, can you please raise your right hand? <clears throat> you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. I agree. All right, state your name for the record. Monet Medulla Bay. All right, you can, put, you can put your hand down. I wanted to. <laughs> All right, ma'am, it is this court's understanding that you're going to plead guilty to the charge of disorderly person drop. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Can understand? you repeat that last part, please? Which last part? Um, just the whole thing. <laughs> so it wasn't the last part. You need the whole thing repeated. Yeah, I just want to be at this point, say the whole thing. Well, I want to be sure. Take your years and then you'll be good. That's the problem. Okay. Ah, yeah, I know. Okay. So <laughs> you're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly person drunk. That is yes. a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that? Yes. Understanding all that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Um, when you say that, you want me to just say what happened, right? You have to well, say, that. do you plead guilty? Oh, yes. I plead guilty for being drunk and disorderly and okay, resisting okay. and being alone. He's going to ask you what happened. So hold on a second. Oh, okay. As soon as I advise you as to what your rights are, you're pleading guilty. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes. All right. Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind. I won't have a trial. That's what I said. You understand okay. that? That's yes. the case? Mm hmm. All right. Because you're not having a trial, you're giving up certain other rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also mm -hmm. giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent and not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that? Yes. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. Yes. Are you on probation or parole? No. Has anybody promised you anything other than dismissal of count two to get you to plead guilty to this charge? Um, yes. The first judge that i seen, she said she was going to give me a personal bond. I don't know if that was for the first time. I went you mean to the magistrate? The, you didn't see a judge. You saw a magistrate the first time. Oh, magistrate. That's what her name is? Well, <laughs> that's her title. Um... That she was going to give you a personal bond? Yes. Well, that's what's currently set. Why, do you want me to take that away and arrest you and then give you a personal bond? No, I just was letting you know. That's the only thing that I... Oh, would okay. Yeah. I've been promised to you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody threaten you or coerce you in any way to get you to plead to this chair? No. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes. Of your own free will. Yes. And because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? I mean, what happens in the dark comes to light. So y'all are going to see a video. So, yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. 
you're right about the first part. What happens in the darkness does come to light. But I'm asking you a different question. You're pleading guilty because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Of being disorderly? And drunk. I thought disorderly was drunk. It can be. Well, I know I was drunk. And disorderly. <laughs> So you're you're so you're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly drunk because you believe that you are guilty of that offense. Yes. Thank you. On the wrong <clears throat> one. On the date of April 3rd, 2022, at the location of 3135 Scenic Lake Drive, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. This ought to be fun. Man, what did you do on that date that makes you think that you're guilty? Well, I know that I don't normally drink, and I had, like, a premiere party because I just did a commercial. So, we, you know, we had some drinks. Um casual drinks, but I'm not like normally a drinker. So I drank them. I guess I was mixing brown and light. I don't know if you know that that's not a good combination. And so, yeah, I was drunk. Okay. So what happened? <laughs> um, I think I got into it with a family member and that triggered me to be upset while I was under the influence. And I felt like no one was listening to me, so I wouldn't stop yelling. And so there was one officer <clears throat> that was like hearing me out and just understanding like I had a lot going on. And then the other officers, I don't think they were understanding or maybe I wasn't understanding that they were understanding and they just wanted me to stop yelling. And so I was just still yelling with the officer and okay ma'am hold on let's let's back up a second where were <laughs> you when all of this was happening scenic drive outside you were outside <laughs> okay and so while you were outside and you admit you were intoxicated correct yes. mm -hmm. all right and you were yelling at either police officers or other people, right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And were you yelling loud enough to disturb the peace and repose of the area around you? Somewhat. And other people? What do you Somewhat. Mean? Yes. <laughs> okay, what do you mean somewhat? Loud enough. But I don't think I was Hold on a second. Loud. You were loud enough to get arrested, right? That wasn't why I was. I don't think I was. The loudness was 100% the reason I was drunk. That was the reason. But I wouldn't not stop arguing with them. But my tone but, was loud. So you were arguing with the police? Yes. In public? Yes. And that caused at least their peace and repose to be disturbed, correct? Yes. And so... <laughs> And so you admit by doing all of that, you were being disorderly. Yes. Counsel, uh, please say yes, but has the court complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. I the people sure. are satisfied. <laughs> Sometimes it's like picking flowers. Other times it's like pulling teeth. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count one. Count two is dismissed. Ma'am, I'm going to refer you to probation mm -hmm. for pre-sentence investigation and report. Okay. Now, there is going to be alcohol testing. Ma'am, you have said numerous times during your plea, because I'm considering doing something else, that you don't normally drink. Yes. So this occurred in April of this year. Yes. So we are now in June. Yes. So for this entire year, how many times would you say that you've consumed alcohol? 
I don't know. I'd be prior to like a couple months before that I was already in a program that basically was like a drug program that teaches people like, well, um, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. So. I wasn't, I was, I wasn't, I, I don't think I was drinking a lot before that incident. And I know, I know, I know. Alone. Nobody ever does think they're drinking a lot. Listen, <laughs> all I'm asking is from January 1st to today's date, how many times other than this time have you consumed alcohol? Hmm. Just ballpark it. A guesstimate. Maybe five times. All right. My birthday was January 23rd. I turned okay, 21. Well, thank you for sharing. Well, I had to take I my first shot. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I did, did, I, did I ask it all for the days? I just needed the number of times. Okay. She just turned 21 in January. Yes. That's why you had to have your first shot. I mean, I didn't have to, but I'm saying and I was then, really And so then by April, okay, but... by April, you were drinking and got arrested. Hmm. Yeah. Not a good track record. That was less yeah. than three months. Yeah. So yeah. here's what we're going to do. I'm going to refer to probation, but I'm also referring her to Von Swartz for an alcohol screening and assessment so we can figure out the level of testing. Okay, so you got two things you have to do. You have to do an alcohol screening assessment as well as you have to report to probation. Understood? Yes. And if I have any questions on that process, who do I talk to? Talk to your attorney, please. Not, okay. not me. All right. Okay. So I, I didn't mean it that way. Or maybe I did. Sentencing. July 13th, 2022. 9 a.m. Bond... That's when I have to do the testing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's when you got to come back and I impose sentence. You have what to handle mean? the testing before that. Call me and I will help you get everything. You're going to have to get an alcohol screening and assessment and you got to talk to my probation department. Okay. Call me, and I'll help you. Come back on the 7th or on July 13th. 13th. And then I'm going to give you your sentence. Okay. Got it? Yes. Bond will continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Yep. All the other cases are ready to be recalled, of course. Everything is ready now. Um, I have a feeling, though, just curious. All of that stuff I just ordered is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just telling you. She's going to get here on July 13th. There's nothing going to be ready. And I'm going to invite everybody back because we're going to hear a long story about why it didn't happen. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah, you got to make Feaster. Torsio. I'm here. Do not put that case on Miss Kleeman. You need to come <laughs> back and deal with that case yourself. Okay, I'll be back. Because I think I think everything that just happened it's my fault. and the minutes in my life I don't get back are all your fault. It's my fault, Judge. I'm, I'm okay. sorry. I just take sole saying. responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I know. And even if you don't, I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> Thank you, <Sean. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your name, sir? Vincent Lambert. Thank you. I decided there's no offer for my client, so we uh, request to waive and seek an offer at certain He's waiving his right to preliminary examination. That's correct. Is that right, sir? So you're waiving your right to a preliminary examination? I guess so. Well, yes. Do you know what you're doing, sir? Yes, I do. I, I don't know why my agent got to be so good, right? But yes, I am. Why my what? Why what has to be so direct? Why my answers have to be so direct. But yes, I'm waiving my right for a preliminary. You know what? You better check your attitude with I'm me. Answering your question, sir. You can go back. 
I'll okay. see him. I'll see him in a minute. Mr. Belvisi, check your client. Because not to. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, bring him back here. You're in contempt. That's 30 days. You got anything else to say? Anything else you want to tell me? You guys are just like. Anything else you want to tell me? Yes, I do. What? You better watch your mouth because you're going to get another 30. You're going to get another 30. What else do you want to tell me? Nothing at this time, Your Honor. Thank you. You are on your way out. We'll bring him back later, maybe. That is? That's that block? What's my next block? One o'clock? Yeah. Oh, except for. I had. I was ready to go. Who? Your neighbor? No. Did you say who am I recalling? Lambert. Oh, Lambert. I thought you said a. I thought you said, "Will you be my neighbor?" I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are you? I'm. I'm okay. They've all been treating me badly. Mr. Balbisi? Your client? So he's got his 30 days contempt. We had him taken back down. He's not coming back up. I'll just adjourn this out. You can let him go. Does he? Oh. Oh, what's that charge? It's possession of that. Oh, now Platt Pickens explains a lot. <laughs> it's so he said on May 9th on those because I was just going to put this one out till after his contempt is served. Yeah, he said on May 9th, not just that one. Four to five. That's five, five, six. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just adjourn these out to June 6th. And then we'll see how he acts on May 9th and we'll figure it out from there. Welcome. All right, what are we doing on this case? Judge, I'm asking for a last PCC. Um, I did have communication with the prosecutor who appeared on the case last time. We ordered some extra discovery, that being body-worn camera and surveillance camera video. We did receive it, but not all of it, to my understanding. We were only provided with two minutes of body-worn camera. Um, so I'm renewing the request. I would also ask if you would sign a discovery order, Judge. Would there be a need for me to sign a discovery order? I believe at this point there would be, Judge. Why? This is the second time we've requested the materials for the case and still have not received them. You go ahead. I was just going to say defense counsel thinks this is an appropriate time to request an order. She should be filing a motion. The facts are we have complied with the request. We have filed requested the video, and I'm going to follow up with it again today. I mean, it's an ongoing process. Well, here's what I understand. Please correct me if I'm wrong. You requested a different additional video, which is body cam. And surveillance right? camera. That's correct. Okay. They provided that. But you don't think that they the people provided what was given to them to you. Correct. And then you don't think it was everything. And so now you want an order. Yes. Yeah. That makes no sense to me. It would seem to me that they've been cooperative, and if you think that something's missing, they've agreed to follow up on it. Okay. So, no, you don't get an order. And, yeah, you would have to file a motion, but good luck with that under these circumstances. So how much more time did you need to check into that, Ms. Hughes, to try and determine? I will check in today, and I will let the council know all the responses that I get. Um, so if we can do at least two weeks to make sure if I... Probable, probable cause conference, May 23rd, 2024. 
9 a.m. is your invite indicates bond at this time will continue. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Court calls the case, people versus Anaya Haley. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Wendy Barnwell, P42505, on behalf of Ms. Anaya Haley. She's also present on Zoom. All right. Ms. Haley, can you state your name? Can Anaya you Haley. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. What are you doing on this case? Yes, Judge. I did receive discovery, both electronic and paper. So we're you ready want to an set any... You want an order, too? No, Judge. No, not mind. at all. No, never mind. My it. bad. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of it. Um, a lot of discovery. Okay. But there's one thing I want to address. Yes, ma'am. I know that she would have to go somewhere else, perhaps in family court. The complaining witness has her child. He is perhaps is the biological father. However, he's not the legal father at all. His name is not on the birth certificate. And this is a young child. I believe that he does not have an appropriate house. He does not have a legal right to that child unless he files a paternity action. Um, and she needs her child. She does not have her toddler child. Or did you, since I last spoke to you, Anaya, do you have the kid? No, I haven't had my baby since April 19th. Have not? I have not. It's my understanding that CPS ordered the child to remain with the victim. Oh. Did you and hear when that, they call CP Yes. When they called CPS, CPS has no record of it. The police were supposed to call CPS. They don't. He doesn't have a legal right to the child. So because there's a case which they're not aware of, they weren't witnessing what was happening. They saw something that they interpreted a certain way. Um, but, Your Honor, she does not have her child. He does not have a legal right to that child. He can't just take that child. Okay. And they can't just give so, that child, but they can't find the child. There's no arrangement for court for the child. There's nothing. She has no idea where her toddler child is. Okay, so what would you like me to do? All right, so I know that this is not family court. However, this, yeah, I know, but it felt like it there for a minute and I was about to run. I know. I know, Judge. I know. <laughs> but, um, you know, I need like good faith efforts to be made. And furthermore, I didn't hear who the prosecutor was because she's in the courtroom and it's hard to hear on Zoom. So I could like at least communicate it's with Ms. her. Ms. Morgan Barroso. Okay. 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 All right. So I'll try and communicate with her. Try and see, you know. I know family court is a very long, drawn-out process, but she needs her kid ASAP. Thank you, Judge. So we'll just set an exam date now. You have all your discovery? I do. I have the okay. a lot of electronic as well as paper. All right. And would the people have their... Witnesses available the 14th. We'll do our best, right? Um, uh oh, you said May 14th. You can't do May 14th? Um, I could do it in the afternoon, Judge. Well, I can't, I can only set it in the morning. What about okay, the following Judge, so week? You know what? I will one split second. I was gonna see. I, I I think I can get that judge to. You know I can. The following week I. I'll do it on May fourteenth, and I'll zoom into the other judge. Okay. All He's right. pretty flexible. So. Preliminary examination in person, May fourteenth, two thousand twenty-four. 9 a.m. That is before Judge Judge Burke. Would it be in the same building as you, Judge? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Judge Burke. He'll probably actually be in my courtroom. Okay. 
Well, no, he won't. He'll be next door. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bond continue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. We can leave the All Zoom right. and Bye-bye.